In this video, we'll talk about how you can work with cross-reference file in Microsoft Access. In another video, I talked about how you can use Microsoft Excel to work with cross-reference files. This is a follow-up to that. We're doing exactly the same thing. We're just using Microsoft Access. The reason why you would want to use Microsoft Access is when you have hundreds of thousands of documents that you're dealing with and Excel is not going to do it for you. Here I have Microsoft Access and I have my dat file here. I have my back.n.doc fields and you can imagine other fields like from to cc bcc would be in there as well and on the right side i have my old number and a new number so what we want to do is we want to renumber our back doc and doc number using this cross reference and put the new numbers into new back doc and new end doc let's do that to do it we're going to go to create and we're going to go to query design and we're going to add both of our tables first we have us two cross reference back doc and doc and the next one is our cross reference file what we'll do is join back doc to old number, change our query to be an update query, and then drag new back doc down here. And where it says update to, we're gonna put in brackets, new number, and close the bracket. Now we are going to run our query and say yes to update. Once we switch back here, we see that our numbers were updated. So now we can do the same thing for the NDoc number. We're going to highlight our connector, press delete, connect NDoc to old number, and we can either switch field here, or if you're not sure, just delete and drag and drop new end number again, and update to new num again. And we're going to uh, back to query tools, and we're gonna say run, yes, switch to cross-reference and now our dat file has been updated based on the cross-reference file and then you can do the same thing with the bag attach and the end attach fields as well and that's how you work with cross-reference files in microsoft access thanks for watching